Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Young here and welcome to a Metal Gear Remake news update. A few months ago, word began spreading that a fan development team calling itself Outer Heaven Productions was developing a fan remake of the original Metal Gear released on MSX. Konami eventually got wind of this and they actually approved the project as long as the team would not use it for profit. Many Metal Gear fans, including myself, were extremely excited about this project, which is why it saddens me to report that Konami has officially shut the project down. The following information comes from the project leader, Ian Ratcliffe, who I've been in contact with over the past few months. Apparently, the reason the project was shut down was because not everyone at Konami could agree on the project going through. According to Ian, approval of the Metal Gear remake has been a back and forth affair. When Konami first discovered the project, Ian was given the go-ahead, but was asked to take the project's mod database page down since Konami had planned to make an announcement of the Metal Gear remake after E3. But some time later, the team was asked to put the project on hold and prepare a package to be presented in Japan. It was then that Konami was told of David Hayter's involvement with the project. That's right folks, the real voice of Solid Snake was going to reprise his iconic role in this fan project. According to Ian, David was involved from the very beginning, shortly after the project's conception, lending not only his voice, but also a hand in the script. David even got Paul Eiding lined up to make a cameo as Colonel Campbell. The project had also attracted the attention of various industry professionals. Adhem Belkadra from Ubisoft, who had worked on games like Gears of War, Just Dance, and Cursed Crusade, worked on the project's level mapping. Kawei Lamos from Insane Games, who had worked on projects like Earth Under Siege and Bubble Up, worked on the sound effects. Orion Akaba, who voice acted in games like Fire Emblem Awakening and the Infamous series, worked on voice acting. Ian also mentioned a developer from Sony's XDEF team had shown interest, but left due to lack of availability. The project even drew the attention of Sony ATV Music Publishing, who wanted to supply the game's soundtrack. Despite all the positive feedback and interest, unfortunately, some time after Konami had requested the presentation package, on the morning of August 18th, Ian got a call from Konami with final word that the project had to be shut down. When asked whether the project's cancellation was due to David Hayter's involvement, Ian responded that he didn't think so since the future of the project was already uncertain even before Konami learned of David's involvement. To make up for the project's cancellation, in an honorable move, Konami has invited the Outer Heaven production team to discuss other ideas. So despite the unfortunate outcome of the project, there was a lot to be gained for the team despite the short development period. But until the folks over at Konami change their mind, the project will be placed on hold indefinitely. If you are like me and would love to see the project get revived, I encourage that you speak out. Konami obviously has their reasons for shutting the project down, but it's always possible that they will change their mind if we respectfully show interest and support for the project. In the meantime, here is a rough trailer of an early version of the Metal Gear Remake project, uploaded by Ian himself. We have a situation. It's high priority. The General has important intel on Outer Heaven. It's rumored that Mr. X is developing a new weapon of mass destruction. All we know comes from intel retrieved by another Foxhound agent. He sent a coded two-word transmission. Metal Gear.
its name. Kept you waiting, huh? According to Ian, the final version of the game was going to look even better since the team had switched to Unreal Engine 4, but alas, the project was cancelled before much could be done with it. That is it for today, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. If you would like to see the project revived, speak out and respectfully show your support. And if you haven't done so yet, to be further updated on Metal Gear Remake, be sure to join the nation and subscribe to Young Gear. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. And young out.